YouTube lands, it's your boy Tudlow, and today I want to go over something that a lot of people have been asking me recently, and I feel like, uh, I guess now would be a great time, better than never, to talk about this subject, so let's jump right into it. Today I want to talk to y'all about something uh, to do with your hacking crystals. Basically, when should I limit break? a character and for what should I be looking for in that character so let's go ahead and jump right into it so the very first thing that actually I thought about this so the actual actual first thing that you want to think about before anything else is said are they your waifu or are they your husbando if they are fucking go for it now now that we got that out the way let's go ahead and kind of look at some different aspects to really determine if you should limit break your character or not now for characters that are your normal four star characters or they are upgraded from four star to five star those characters take 50 hacking crystals in order to limit break them five levels so to go from level 80 to 100 it takes you 200 hacking crystals if you are a five star unit straight out the gate and you didn't get upgraded and it's just a pure five star unit it takes you 100 hacking crystals per five levels now that in turn means to go from level 80 to two to 100 that takes 400 hacking crystals now we know that hacking crystals are a very precious resource that should not just be thrown around and just be like oh well uh I'm just going to use it for five levels. That wouldn't really be the most efficient thing to do. So now you say, well, Tug, when should I want to look to limit break a character? My general rule of thumb is this. The first thing that I always go to is, do I have enough to instantly limit break them from level 80 to 100? If I do not, I don't even think about limit breaking that character because to me, that's just a waste of using your hacking crystals because guess what? The next time you get more hacking crystals to get them up five levels, maybe 10 levels, unless you're a whale, kind of, you know, if you're free to play, then guess what? The next time you'll be able to limit break them will be after we get more diamonds and then better units will already have appeared. So that's why it's always the best rule of thumb. If you cannot get them to level 100 instantly, don't even think about it. Now, you say, Tug, I can get them to level 100 instantly. Now should I limit break them? Oh, uh, hold your horses, Tonto. Let's go ahead and ask you the second question that I like to look at is, do I have their weapons in order to limit break them? Or do I have a weapon? Now, let's say I were going to use this... Uh, well, she's a freebie unit. Let's say I was going to use this 7. <clears throat> now, she is a rod user, and if we were to edit the equipment, we can see I only have one 4-star rod, and that is this one that is sitting on my maid Asana. Now, if I wanted to use 7 or Asana, you know, in the same party, that'd be kind of weird, but for all intents and purposes, let's just say I'm going to use both of them in the same party. I would want to have both of them with a four-star weapon, right? So it kind of just sucks to, to, to have to like switch it to here, then switch it to here, especially for floor clearing where your weapons are locked onto a character once you already start that mission. So if I do not have a weapon that I don't have to switch it to, or I can say, okay, this weapon will only be used for this character, then you've passed that test and I say we'll go to the next checkpoint because having a weapon that you can have 10% MP reduction is extremely important that's probably the most important stat that you can get now if it is off element you do lose damage but that's okay we take that you know I I can't expect everybody to to say oh well I'm just gonna have this element for every or one weapon of every type for every element that's if you're free to play 
or you know even sometimes if you're a whale that, that's kind of hard to do so at least well if you're a baby whale it's kind of hard to do now that we got those two things out of the way i want to get to the most important quality that i look for in limit breaking characters now i'm gonna go ahead and scroll through here and see if i can find somebody okay perfect example right here idol lisbeth now y'all see i got this character way back in the day when i was using her i limit broke her five levels y'all can tell i haven't touched her since now you say tug why did you do that well back in the day i thought okay she would help me on the ranking event turns out she did it and i wasted you know 50 hacking crystals which was l but that's okay now this is perfect example of why this third reason is the most important reason that you want to be looking out for if you pass this test then you can limit break your character if you pass all three of these tests the third one is talking about longevity of the character now this idol lisbeth hardly use her the only time i use her is for one floor on floor clearing you know Ironcrad. that's it she's not a waifu she's not somebody that oh man i gotta play her all the time you know i really like her or she's just fun to use ain't nothing like that so unless they have the potential of getting a five star upgrade and you know relatively relatively quickly or they have very good longevity then you should not limit break them if they don't have longevity or if they don't you know you don't really foresee them getting upgraded anytime soon it is not worth them getting limit broken now one unit where i've kind of bounced back and forth on this but i think at the end of the day she is definitely a character that has longevity as i just used her in this previous ranking event that i got first place in um she you know is extremely fast under ss3 and i can definitely see her being a transitioner for uh if she ever gets a five star upgrade and the unit that i'm talking about is made seen on now she's a type of unit where as soon as i got her uh, I used to be a meme where it was like, oh, Tug and Maid seen on, he doesn't have her. But I, as soon as I got her, I instantly limit broke her. Now, before this current ranking event, I was kind of like, man, she's she's feeling extremely power creep. She feels weak. Uh, I don't think I should have used those limit or those hacking crystals there. I think I made a mistake. Come around, we get to this uh, ranking event, and she just blew it out the water for me. And it definitely was not a mistake that I limit broke her way back. Uh, during her birthday banner during the time that the pirate banner was uh, still available so as you can see her longevity you know the maid banner was way back in the day and I'm still using her today so that is something that the longevity really speaks for like damn I've really got a bang for my buck character or you know bang for my diamond character and it is just extremely powerful these are the top three things that i look for to limit break characters now the one thing that i will say about her is that as far as bows go i only have one well i technically have two but this one is always going to stay on on uh, schoolgirl philia so i technically have one four star bow but i mean she has the, the three-star gotcha upgraded to a four-star bow. And I mean, like, we can see the difference, you know, of 41 to 53. But then, you know, if I just equip this, like, it goes from 53 to 56. You know, it's about a 300 difference. But I'll take it because there will be times where I might not use my anniversary scene on so I can just equip her weapon. So it's very, very uh, wishy-washy in some aspects but the longevity that is basically the number one thing that you want to look for will this unit be useful in the future do they have the potential of getting a five star upgrade 
play are the two most important factors and then like I said before can you instantly get them to level 100 and do you have the weapons you know do you have a four star weapon because some people might not have a four star weapon do you have a weapon for them if you meet all those criteria definitely limit break your character if you don't I would say hold off on it and wait so that's all I got for this video thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate all the support and all the love that y'all give to me all the time on every single video I really do appreciate it if you haven't already go ahead and like share comment and subscribe to the YouTube channel to help make the dream become a reality also if you are subscribed make sure to turn on the notifications so you can get notifications of when I release a new video also be sure to check out the description box for the question of the video as you know that's a nice little segment that I like to do for each video and you'll also find links to my patreon page my discord server my twitch stream and all of my social media links that you can stop me on and I won't even know and that's all I got so as y'all know that's the fat lady singing that's the bells are ringing and until the next video I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next one peace Thank you.